Good morning. So this is day one of our trip to Colorado. So day one of our, I think it's our 16 day, 15, 16 day expedition that we're doing. So Gary arrived two days ago on Thursday. He came in from Saskatoon and drove all day. He had to deal with a lot of headwind coming into Calgary. So we finally connected on Thursday and on Friday is when the uh, Bruce and Lori uh, met up with us uh, last night. And we drove all the way to the border here by Kukanusa Lake. It's a beautiful spot, but you gotta be careful because it can be a party spot. So middle of the night, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., some quarters drove by across the lake. People were screaming, looking for someone. But you know what, when you pull in here late at night in the dark and it's just it's a beautiful spot. No wind, it's nice and calm. So we gotta get some coffee going this morning, pack up, get across the border because we're literally just eight minutes from the US border right now. So it's gonna be an easy transition this morning, get into the US and then we're gonna meet up with uh, Big Sky Overlanding from Montana. Uh, in Missoula, we're going to meet up, grab some food, some groceries, and then just keep heading south and keep exploring and find a place to camp for the night. So let's get Brecky going. to the US border you got to get rid of your fruit your vegetables and your meats before you cross because you're not allowed so Trace and I each had an apple that we brought so chow them down hey Bruce uh, you there I'm here probably too late to ask but uh, you guys have your passports? I do, yep. I'm not sure if Lori brought hers, but I do. <laughs> we leave here at the border? <laughs> I don't know if they offer a shuttle service back to Calgary from here. Yeah, I'm sure they don't. 10 4. So we just left Missoula. We met up with uh, Big Sky Overlanding, Morris and Peggy, and we got our groceries. And we're now heading into <laughs> we're now heading to uh, actually I don't know where we're heading. He's taking us to place to camp for the night. Uh, we're in his hands. We're always good in his hands because we've done this before in the past. And he took us to a nice beautiful spot uh, called Hidden Lake. Uh, I did a video on that. I'll link it like right. Here for you. It's over here. Yeah, this not here. It's always the cards always here. And uh, it is warm too. It's 87 degrees Fahrenheit. What is that in Celsius for us? 
about 28, 28, 29, 29 degrees Celsius. So, let's get it done. We're now in Bitterfoot National Forest. Big Sky Overland knew about this little spot here that uh, could be available. Uh, he was risking it. There could be somebody here already. There's a creek behind us. There's a fire ring. It's a nice, quiet sp uh, spot. Super happy. It's now six o'clock. We're gonna relax, make some supper tell some stories it's just so great I love it when we connect with people who know the areas and show us these new spots to camp off grid so shout out to Big Sky Morris and Peggy thank you very much let's go sit and enjoy the rest of the evening now Sunday morning we are on day two of our trip Morris from Big Sky Overlanding brought us to this beautiful spot in Bitterroot corrected myself yesterday I said Bitterfoot it's actually Bitterroot National Forest it's a nice little teardrop site here just uh, on the side of the little road and we couldn't have asked for anything better fire rings creek right here. I was able to fill up this morning with my Lifesaver jerry can to get us some fresh clean water for the rest of the trip. Well, a couple more days at least until we find another creek to, re, uh, to recharge on water. This is beautiful and the hospitality here is just amazing. That's why we love traveling different states, experiencing new towns and just meeting new people. That's what it's all about and that's what we love about it. So we encourage you to pack up your rigs and get out there visit these little local towns you'll never know who and what you're gonna see when you're out there we're getting ready to pack up now because now we have to head south get to Chile turn right and we're gonna go into the Sawtooth National Forest explore a little bit try and place uh, try and find a place to camp for tonight and then carry on into Ogden Utah get in behind the Wasatch Wasuch, Wasuch National Forest Range in behind Salt Lake to find a place to camp because we are going to meet up with Team Hunt Adventures uh, for a couple of days. I can't wait to see Hunt again and the family and just explore together and get into the Rocky Mountain Overland Rally. I don't even know if it's working. How do you know I got the picture? I saw a red flash. I think that's it. You should go check it. Just push the button. So the search is now on, so just keep your eye out for anything nice or possibly on the left hand side if it's got a little trail. Let's scout it out. We have now entered the Sawtooth National Forest in Idaho. We are on a gravel road now and uh, we are just exploring, trying to find a place to camp. Go ahead, uh, Gary, you're the scout. Here we are in the Sawtooth National Forest. Once we hit the National Forest uh, borderline, the road kind of degraded a little bit more, uh, turned into a nice little single track and just kept heading south. We wanted to find a spot near a creek or a river uh, for the night. We just kept driving and we found ourselves this beautiful little gem. The creek is right here. We got some shelter from the trees. There is a bit of a wind, uh, but that's okay. It keeps the bugs at bay. Uh, 
Word of caution, when driving on a highway when it's really, really hot, make sure your windows are rolled up because a wasp flew in, went behind my shirt, and bit me right in the back, dead center. That hurt. So remember, keep the windows rolled up, air conditioning on, you won't get bitten. What are you guys doing over there? Comparing trying maps? Out, trying to figure out where the heck we are. <laughs> Will this road here take us back out to a major road? Do you know? Or Well, our maps are not working very well. We're plotting our own course right now. So Gary's got the Gaia GPS and he's going to check and see if this is going to take us out of here instead of backtracking all the way back. Bless you. There's number four. Good morning. What a great sleep. Started to rain a little bit last night. Just a, just a soft little rain. Didn't last very long. It was just so nice to hear that rain hit the tent. Went for a little walk last night when the sun was starting to set. Got a little darker. The stars. Oh my God. With zero light pollution out here. When you look up into the night sky, millions upon millions of stars were out. The Milky Way, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is nice backcountry out here. This is, uh, we're in Idaho right now. We're close to the Utah border. Unfortunately, what we did is we thought, we asked one of the locals, and we said we wanted to go to Chile, and then I wanted to turn right on the 12 and get into the Sawtooth National Forest. And she said, no, you don't want to do that. You want to go to uh, Stanley, towards Stanley, and take a different route into here. The only problem is, there's no exit. There's only one way in and one way out. There's no through road. So we have to backtrack out, back to where we, we came in, go back to Chalice, and then chalice on the 93 and head back towards our regular route. I don't think she's a true uh, local. local. I mean, a true local. 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 <laughs> local, Oops. local. Because I don't think she really knew the area very well. She came in pretty late in life, I think. So. Yeah, so yeah. should we always stick to your original plan? <sighs> anyway, it is what it is. It turned out to be a nice little adventure. We got to head back out. And we've all got enough fuel. That's no problem. And uh, yeah, we gotta start packing up and start going. What's this forest called? National Forest? No. Uwinta? Uwinta Wasatch Cache National Forest. 
That's a mouthful. And I apologize if I said that wrong. So we, we're we at about 72, 7,300 feet uh, up on this mountain to find a place to camp. And uh, I think we did pretty good because uh, look at that view. Hey, wow. So Bruce has his trailer set up right here behind me. Gary find a nice spot right there, nice and flat. And we had to level the Jeep with my uh, go treads to get that Jeep leveled up. But we are set up. And now it is 20 after eight. We got to get some grub because we've been driving all day. It was a hard day today. We bypassed Salt Lake, came in behind Salt Lake or behind that mountain range, like rush hour. Didn't want to hit that that uh, that freeway or that highway. It was nice views. And then we came in through uh, Springville, uh, fueled up, grabbed some ice. And here we are now. And we're losing sunlight real quick. So let's get back to supper. There's a little bit of a rocky section, but we you can navigate down. I'll navigate you down. Any sights though? Oh, it's all open. Yeah, it's all open. Lots of flat spots. Are you are you recording? Is that is that you? <laughs> 